Once upon a time in a small village nestled in a lush valley, there lived an old man named Hero. Hero was known far and wide as a wise and serene soul. People came from distant places seeking his counsel and enlightenment. He lived a simple life in a small cottage at the edge of the village, surrounded by a beautiful garden filled with colorful flowers and graceful bonsai trees. One warm summer evening as the sun dipped below the horizon, a young man named Koji arrived at Hiro's doorstep. Koji had heard tales of Hiro's wisdom and sought answers to the questions that weighed heavily on his heart. Old man, Koji said, bowing respectfully, I have traveled far to seek your guidance. I am plagued by restlessness and confusion. I want to find inner peace, but I don't know where to begin. Hiro looked at Koji with kind eyes and invited him inside. They sat on tatami mats, facing each other, as Hiro prepared a pot of green tea. Tell me, young one, Hiro said, pouring tea into a delicate porcelain cup. What is it that disturbs your mind? Koji sighed deeply. I am always chasing after success, wealth and recognition. I feel like I'm on a never-ending journey to acquire more, to be more. But no matter how much I achieve, I am never truly satisfied. My mind is a turbulent sea, always in motion, never at rest. Hiro listened attentively, sipping his tea thoughtfully. After a moment, he placed the cup down and said, Imagine a pond, young Koji. When the waters are still, it reflects the beauty of the world around it with perfect clarity. But when the waters are disturbed, even the most breathtaking scenery becomes distorted and unclear. Koji frowned, not quite understanding. Hiro continued, your mind is like that pond. When it is calm and tranquil, it can reflect the true nature of reality. But when it is agitated by desires and ambitions, it distorts your perception of the world. Inner peace comes when you learn to still the waters of your mind. Koji pondered Hiro's words. But how can I find this inner peace? How can I still the waters of my mind? Hiro smiled gently. Come, let me show you. The old man led Koji out to his garden, where a small pond glistened in the moonlight. Hiro handed Koji a bamboo pole with a small net attached to it. Take this pole and try to catch the moon's reflection in the water, Hiro instructed. Koji was puzzled. But old man, the moon's reflection cannot be caught. It's just an illusion, Hiro nodded. Exactly. Just as you cannot catch the moon's reflection in the water, you cannot catch true happiness by chasing after external desires. The more you grasp, the more it slips through your fingers. Koji tried to catch the moon's reflection for hours, but it was futile. Frustrated and exhausted, he finally gave up and sat down beside the pond. Hiro joined him, and they both gazed at the tranquil water. Koji, Hiro said softly, the moon's reflection is like the happiness you seek. It is not something you can capture or possess. True happiness comes when you let go of the need to possess and simply appreciate the beauty of the present moment. As they sat in silence, Koji felt a sense of calm washing over him. He realized that in his relentless pursuit of success and recognition, he had overlooked the simple beauty of life. The rustling leaves, the gentle chirping of crickets, and the cool breeze on his skin. All of these were precious moments that he had ignored in his quest for more. Over the following days, Koji continued to visit Hiro, and they often sat by the pond, watching the moon's reflection. With each visit, Koji's mind grew quieter, and the restlessness that had plagued him began to subside. One day, as Koji sat by the pond, he looked at Hiro and said, I understand now, old man. True happiness is not found in the pursuit of external desires, but in embracing the present moment and finding contentment in what is. Hiro nodded with a smile. You have learned a valuable lesson, young one. The path to inner peace is not in acquiring more, but in letting go and appreciating what you already have. From that day forward, Koji's life took a new direction. He no longer chased after success and recognition with relentless ambition. 
Instead, he focused on living each moment fully, finding joy in the simplest of things and sharing his newfound wisdom with others. As the years passed, Koji became known throughout the land as a man of great peace and wisdom. He too had become a beacon of enlightenment for those seeking answers to life's questions. And just like his mentor Hiro, he lived a simple life, surrounded by the beauty of nature and found contentment in the reflection of the moon on the tranquil waters of his own pond.